Hello you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful butterfly crystal earrings. I'm making them of simple materials. These are the most common two sizes of crystals, faceted crystals or also controndels and seed beads. Don't forget that when you change colors you could have so many different variations, so put your imagination in action. Here for this project I should tell you that I used Fireline, but when you use Fireline it becomes a little bit soft, so you could make an additional uh, thread part of monofilament to make it stiffer, or use monofilament instead of Fireline in the project. Okay? You could also help me by liking, sharing and commenting and I'll answer to all of your questions down there in the comments. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, a link to my store and a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are Two sizes of rondelles, also called faceted crystals. These are 4 by 6 millimeters and these here are 6 by 8 millimeters. For a pair of earrings I use 4 of the smaller size and 6 of the bigger size. And here I use 11 0 seed beads, ear wires, size 10 beading needle, scissors and I use here file line that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters and you could use other beading thread of your choice, let's say monofilament. And here I use pliers to only to go through the difficult beads. Okay, so now I'm going to take about 3 feet of thread, which is about 90 centimeters. I'll put it on my, my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, now I have my thread on my needle. And I'm going to start by taking first one of my crystal of the bigger crystals that are 8 by 6 and I'm going through it and I'm taking nine of these beautiful seed beads. Okay, I have nine here and I'm going to go through my crystal now. Okay, I have this and I'm pulling. Now what I do is that I go through all of my beads in this direction, like this. I'm holding my tail thread because otherwise my beads will fall out. Okay. And here I will stick my needle in my mat and I want to make a knot and I'm making a knot by making a loop and going once then going second time through the loop I've made in this way I make a really secure surgeon's knot and then just to be sure make one more knot okay and pull and then this is what I have and I'm going here through the center of my crystal like that okay and when I pull my knot goes inside this crystal. And now guys from the other side I want to take 8 beads. Okay I have my 8 here and I'm going to go around my crystal. Okay now this is what I have and I will flip my work around because it's easier for me to work in this direction. I'm right-handed. Okay, and then I will go through four beads. Remember here I added eight beads at, at the other side I added nine. But now here in the center I'm going to add one more bead which will be the ninth one like that. And I'm pulling really tight. Okay, I added this one here. And this will be the bottom of my butterfly. Okay, now I'm going to take one seed bead and go here in this direction. Okay, 
I'm adding only one where the hole of my crystal is and I'm going around all of my beads here exiting here where the other hole of my crystal is and here I want to add one, just one seed bead and I'm going here, okay now can you see where my thread is? it's exiting one bead before this edge bead that's sticking out, okay so now what I do is take four seed beads four of them my crystal okay and I'm sliding those down and now I will turn my crystal in this direction you see and I will take four more seed beads okay I have four more so this is what I have four crystal four and now I will go through the same bead that I was exiting from in circle okay and now I have this crystal attached here okay now what I do is that I go through this central bead here like that pull tight and fix it then go through all of those four beads in this direction and you see from this side of my crystal I still have nine beads because four four and this one here that I'm passing through is the ninth one so I'm going here through the center of my crystal and here what I want to take are nine seed beads okay I have my nine and I'm going around through this crystal in this direction okay now I have this and I will flip my work I'm always flipping my work the way it's easier for me because I want to go counterclockwise I'm right handed if it's easier for you if you're left handed just go in the other direction it doesn't matter and my goal is to fill these gaps here where the holes of my crystal are pulling really tight here taking just one seed bead and going here through these beads in this direction okay then through here through all of those four one seed bead and go around through all of those beads okay then what I want to do is go here through three beads like that and I'm exiting through this bead that's I added last at um, the hole of my crystal here through this one okay and now I'm going to take three seed beads a smaller crystal and then three more seed beads now this is what I have on my needle and I will go back here through this one in this direction pulling this is the same way I added the bigger crystal but I'm adding less seed beads because my crystal is smaller okay and now 
I will go through these three beads in this direction. Okay, like this. Then I will go through my crystal. And this time I will add seven seed beads. Here you see I have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So in the other side I need seven as well. Seven. And I will go here through the center of my crystal like that. Now I have this. And I'm going through all of those beads in this direction. I'm exiting here at the gap. And I will take one seed bead and go through all of those beads here in this direction. If it's hard for you to go through the beads so many times, use your pliers, okay? Then I will go also through these three beads, like that. Now here, before adding this bead at the gap, I wanna connect my beads, okay? So here I'm going through three beads and I want to connect them with the neighboring three beads from my previous element. Okay. Pull. Then I want to make them stay closer. That is why I will go directly through these three beads. Okay. Like this. Now guys, they are connected and I need to add here one more seed bead. I'm adding it like this. You see? Now I will go around my circle, exit at my central part and I will be able to continue with my work. Okay, now I will go in this direction. Now, before reaching the other part, here I will make some additional steps. Okay, this is the bit that I added last, and now I'm counting one, two, three, four, five bits from there. And I'm exiting from the fifth bit counting from the whole of my crystal, okay? This is the fifth one. And now I'm going to take 12 seed beads. Okay. I have my 12 here. And now I will go around in circle through this bead here at the top. Okay, now you know I flip my work because I prefer to work in this direction, like I told you before. And I will go through these three beads here. I will add just one seed bead and go through the next three beads. Then I'm adding just one, going through the following three. One, go through the next three. Okay, skip this one here at the edge go here through these three beads and exit at the top of your work through this angle bead that's sticking out at the top okay and now guys I have this okay now here what I need to take are five seed beads okay then I will take one of my ear wires, okay, like this, 
and I will go back in circle so five beads and an ear wire and I'm going around through all of those beads like this and what I do is that I go here in circle reinforcing this circle where my ear wire is okay Okay guys, now I have my ear wire connected and I will go down through some beads continuing with the other part of my butterfly. Okay, I'm sliding down. Now I want to cut my tail thread. then what I do is that I go through all of those beads here okay I'll turn my work this way to be easier for me and I'm exiting of this bit that I added last at the hole of my crystal you see now what I do is take three seed beads, take one of your smaller crystals and take three more seed beads. Okay, I have them here and I'm going back in circle through this bead like that. Then I will go here through these three beads. go inside my crystal and take seven more seed beads okay I have my seven here and I'm going back in circle through this crystal like that then I will go through all of those beads in this direction Don't worry if it gets loose, you could always tighten this up, okay, like this. Take just one seed bead, go through all of those beads here, pull, then go through these three. Take just one and finish your circle here. Pushing to the center of my work and going around. Okay, turning again and I will go here through these beads going through two turning around and going through the third one and you see my thread is positioned one bead before this one at the edge here okay and then take make the familiar steps take four seed beads take one of your bigger crystals and then take four more seed beads okay I have this sliding all of those down and go in the opposite direction here going in circle through your crystal okay now I have this I have nine beads in this side of my crystal, four, four, and this one, and it all of it makes nine. Okay, now my goal is to exit out of the hole of my crystal, and guess what? I'm adding nine beads. Okay, 
I have nine beads here and I'm going around here like that go in this direction through all of those exit through these three beads pull this one really tight okay one seed bead okay exit here through the center and now it's time to connect my beads here okay I'm going through these three beads not through the four but through three beads okay and then I'm going through three beads in this direction pulling then go here through these three in my next step I'm going also through this fourth one here I'm adding my last seed bead in this wing of my butterfly and I'm going here in circle one more time and now it's my last step where I will find a place to make a knot I will make a knot let's say here first what I do is that I make a loop then I go once and second time through the loop I've made I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and then what I do is that I go through my next seed bead and then cut my thread okay now my butterfly is ready if you think it's too soft you could go several times reinforcing it or use a monofilament instead of fire line for this project okay guys and when I repeat all of those steps one more time this is what I have my butterfly crystal earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas and don't forget that when you change colors you could have so many different variations of the same thing i'm showing you here put your imagination in action now, if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. And you could also help me by liking, sharing and commenting. And if you have any questions, ask them in the comments. I'll answer to all of your questions down there. Down there in the description, you will find the full list of materials, a link to my store and a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye for me.